fall, it's a large step for man, but a huge step for mankind. As India's Chandrayaan mission has found, believe it or not, water on the lunar surface. A historic, mind-boggling discovery, to say the least. Three separate missions examining the moon have found clear evidence of water on the surface of the moon, apparently concentrated at the poles and possibly formed by the solar wind. The reports show the water may be actively moving around in the dust on the surface of the moon. Carl Peters of Brown University in Rhode Island and colleagues reviewed data from India's Chandrayaan-1 mission, India's first mission to the moon, and found spectrographic evidence of water. Next month, NASA's Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite, or LCROS, mission will try to detect water by deliberately crashing a huge spacecraft onto the moon. And we have been getting reactions from some of the country's leading space scientists. We spoke to Ajay Lele. Let's see what he had to say. Rishi, to convert the existing, uh, whatever the discovery which has been there, uh, to see to its logical end, I think this is the only first step, uh, which is giving us more amount of understanding that there are chances that there could be a water available on the surface of the moon. I think we've got a still long way to go and many more experiments would need to, needed to be done and more than that, the experiments would be needed to be carried out on the surface of the moon itself to convert these molecules into a usable water. Dr. K. Kasturirangan, the ex-chairman of ISRO, also thinks this is one of the greatest discoveries Chandrayaan has done. Uh, one of the important scientific objectives for Chandrayaan was to look at uh, the potential of water on the moon. And particularly in polar regions where there is no sunlight that falls, could be a very crucial location, if at all there is. The rationale behind this is the fact that over billions of years there could have been cometary debris. The cometary debris brings with it components of water or hydroxyl or hydrogen and they could have moved over to a place which is less likely to be evaporating, that is the cold regions of the moon which is in the poles. Certainly this was one of the major objectives of the Chandrayaan mission because there it has been elusive for the last 40 years. Uh, search for water. Um, this is a very, very important finding. Um, this is an incredible finding. Um, um, the implication is if you ever found water on the moon, um, if we were ever to go to the moon to set up human habitation, um, you never would require to take water to the moon. So for example, right now you have the space station. So one of the big things about the space station is you have to continually give supply for humans to survive. So if somehow water was found on the moon, then um, there is, you could use that water right out there. Um, you could extract it. Of course, right now, after we don't know time, how much is the quantity of water, what temperature oh, it is, and whether we will have a cost-effective way of extracting this water from the moon. So we are not quite out there, but certainly this is a very exciting discovery.